the Detroit Lions had their way with Dallas the entire game. It looked like a preseason game where they're just practicing, figuring out things that they like. But it still doesn't eclipse what we're seeing from the Detroit Lions. Um, you don't have one, but two running backs. The only team in the NFL with two running backs with 300 or more rushing yards in David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. All the Lions proved a point over and over and over again, and they, they did not let up. You know, you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into this Detroit Lions team, man, because in back-to-back -back weeks now, they have looked absolutely dominant, and ever since the beginning of the season, they've continued to get better and better up until this point, and now they look like arguably the best team in the entire NFL. I know they're not undefeated, but that doesn't necessarily matter in my opinion. They really do look like the most dominant team in football at this current point, and I think you can say that talking about both the offense and the defense. The offense has looked basically perfect in back-to-back -back games now, and the defense, man, while yes, they have a few flaws, and they've shown that they have the potential to be something special, and I really do think they're finally coming into that. But what's so crazy about all of this is I think the Lions have a few hidden things that could make this team even better, and I can't even believe I'm saying that out of my mouth. But before we get into what exactly I think that is. If you like Detroit Lions content just like this, make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any Lions videos for the remainder of this season. Okay, so to get right back on topic with the Detroit Lions, this team is coming off a massive, massive win against the Dallas Cowboys, where they ended up winning 47-9, which is pretty unheard of in the NFL. I mean, you'll see some games get to be 35-10, 35-17, and those will be considered blowouts, but to win a game by almost 40 points is just absolutely incredible, and it really does show how good this Lions team is. Now, I will say the Lions did come into this game with a bit of a chip on their shoulder considering what happened to them last year against the Cowboys, and we all know they wanted to come into this game and get revenge for what happened, and man, I think it's pretty safe to say they did exactly that. From the very start of the game to the very end of the game, this team dominated the Cowboys, and they made it look like the Cowboys weren't even on the same playing field as them. It almost looked like a college team playing an NFL team. That's how bad this game was. And that says a lot, in my opinion, of where the Lions can go this year going forward. Now, with that being said, the first thing I think we have to talk about is this offense. Because, man, I've never seen an offense look this dominant and make it look this easy for an entire game like the Lions just did. And it's not like they just started doing this. We also saw them do the exact same thing against the Seahawks. And if they can keep this up, they're going to easily be the best offense in the league. I mean, when looking at the NFL stats as a whole right now, the Lions are currently a top five team in rushing yards per game. They're a top five team in passing yards per game, and they're also a top five team in total yards per game, which should show you right there how dominant they've been all year long on the offensive side of the ball. They have been absolutely dominating, and when you combine with that that they're currently the number one team in the entire NFL in points per game, it really tops off how good this offense has been playing, and I think that really does all start with Ben Johnson and that guy Jared Goff. Ben Johnson, of course, is known as one of the best offensive coordinators in the entire league and he's proven that again this year with all the creativity that he's been able to use to get guys wide open down the field to make Jared Goff's life a lot easier. I mean it's not that hard when you have the weapons that the Lions have but Ben Johnson still deserves a lot of credit because we see coaches all the time not be able to get receivers open and that is not a problem for this Lions team at all. Now the reason I said that Jared Goff has a big part in this as well is because earlier on in the season he really wasn't playing his best football and it had a lot of people worried about whether it was going to limit the Lions as an offense or not but man over these past Past two weeks, he has turned it on, and he looks like the quarterback we all know he can be, and as long as he continues to play like this, there actually is no way to stop this offense. And while yeah, it's still pretty early on in the season, I wouldn't doubt that he's in MVP conversation soon because of the numbers he's putting up and because of how consistent he's been. I mean, to put it in perspective, against the Seahawks, he had a perfect game where he didn't incomplete one pass, and then against the Cowboys, he only incompleted seven passes, but still threw for over 300 yards and three touchdowns to no turnovers, and you cannot ask for much more than that. Now, when you add to Jared Goff that you also have a bunch of weapons all around you, that's when you start to see what I'm talking about when I say this offense probably isn't going to be able to be stopped. I mean, of course, your number one receiver is that guy Amon Ross St. Brown. And what's so crazy is that the offense is performing so, so well without him even putting up crazy numbers because of how deep this receiver room is.
room is. We're seeing him and Jamison Williams be about equal in production this year, and because of that, we've been able to see this offense absolutely explode because you can't just worry about one guy now. You have to worry about everyone on the field at the same time, and that makes it so much harder for a defense. Amon Ra is the guy that can get you more of that short yarded stuff in the slot, and then J Mo is the guy that can just beat you over the top at any given time for a touchdown, and we've seen him do that now multiple weeks in a row, which has been a big reason for why this offense has been so explosive. Now, when you combine with that, that we've also got to see Khalif Raymond play really good as well, who's another super explosive guy, and that guy Tim Patrick play really well in the past couple of games. It just gives you so many options to work with in the receiver room. Not to mention the fact that you also have one of the best tight ends in the league in Sam Laporta, and we saw him make a big play against the Cowboys as well, which just adds even more to this passing game, and it really just wouldn't make sense to me if at the end of the year they weren't a top three to top five offense in the league at the minimum because of how talented they are. Now, what's so great about this offense is it doesn't stop with a great passing attack because you also have one of the best run games in the league to pair with that, mainly due to the offensive line and the two running backs you have in the backfield in Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery. I mean, we've seen this offensive line absolutely taking care of business recently, blowing the opposing defensive line off the ball, and if you're doing that with great running backs, you're going to see a lot of success, and that's exactly what we've seen. I mean, we just saw the Lions rush for a total of 184 yards in one game, which is pretty crazy, especially when you add to that they were extremely efficient at the same time, averaging over five yards per carry. So, I mean, when I look at this, I ask myself, what can't this offense do? And when I think about that question deeply, I come to the conclusion that there is nothing they can't do, and that's why I'm so high on this team. Now, even though the offense is great, and I do think it's a good enough offense to go a really far ways, you still need at least a decent defense to pair along with it if you want to go all the way, and the Lions have that as well. Now, of course, we did see that guy, Aiden Hutchinson, go down with a season-ending injury, and we can't sit up here and lie and say that that's not going to affect this team, because it is. He was playing like one of the best edge rushers in football this year, so it does suck to see him go down, but even without him, I do think this defense is going to be just fine. We might see a hit in the pass rush a little bit, but you also got to realize you still have that guy, DJ Reader, who you added this offseason, and I think he's played really good for you so far, and we've also seen that guy, Aleem McNeil, play extremely good for you as well, which gives you a great interior, and when you pair along with that, that Josh Pascal hasn't played bad either. You can look at this defensive line, and if used correctly, they're still going to be able to make a lot of plays, especially if you mix in some blitzes here and there. I trust Aaron Glenn to cook some stuff up to make this defense work, and if they can just hold teams to under 20 to 25 points a game, there's no reason why this team shouldn't have a great chance to be the number one seed. I mean, I don't think their run defense is going to be hurt much by Aiden Hutchinson's loss, even though he played a big part in it, simply because these linebackers are so good behind the defensive line, and if you can stop the run game, everything else will follow and that's what I'm hoping will happen. I mean, the secondary, while maybe not perfect, is way better than they used to be, and they really did play good against the Cowboys, not only in the corner room, but also in the safety room. I mean, Carlton Davis did his job, and, and Loki slowed down CeeDee Lamb to a pretty good extent, and then when you pair along with that, that we saw Terrion Arnold play pretty good, and we saw Amik Robinson play pretty good, like he's played all season, in my opinion, the corner room is only continuing to get better, which is something you should look out for, because if this corner room turns into what we think it can be, it's going to be really good, and when you pair along with that, that you have an amazing safety room with Brian Branch and Kirby Joseph, this defense should be just fine. I know it sucks and we can't deny that, but now that he's not on the team, you can't just keep thinking about it because most likely he's not going to come back for this season, so you gotta figure out something without him, and I really do think the Lions are going to be able to do that. So if the defense can just be a top 15 to a top 10 unit in football like I think they can, to go along with one of, if not the very best offenses in football, this team is going to be just fine, and I still think the Lions have a great chance to go all the way, but that's just what I think, so let me know what you think in the comments below and leave a like while you're at it. And with that being said, I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.